AR match. It is chambered in 308 Winchester. I have mounted the Schmidt and Bender Police Marksman 2 with 5 to 25 times magnification. There are 20 rounds magazine available for this rifle. It is a semi-automatic. The stock has a pistol grip. It is made by FN in Belgium. Here you see the scope. It is a very expensive scope, but I thought that I buy the scope just once in my life. And so I decided to buy a really good one. And it is the second rifle on which it's on. First, I had it on my Remington 700 Police. The compensator, which reduces the recoil a lot, is from Röderle Precision. So now I want to show you how this rifle is field stripped. It is a bit complicated, but it works. First thing, before you begin to field strip the gun, release the magazine. There is a release knob on both sides. Just push the knob and the magazine will come out. Then open the chamber and hold the slide with this little button make sure there's no round in it and now we're ready to field strip the gun I let the slide go forward so next thing I do is I take off the bipod there's a screw here. Also take out the screw with a screwdriver. And now we can take off this part here. Here we have the short stroke gas system. There is a small piston inside here. And the system is gas operated, so there's a hole in the barrel where the pressure of the round comes in the cylinder before the round left left the barrel, leaves the barrel. And this pressure pushes this piston back, and this piston, the energy of the piston goes on this part, and this part moves the slide back over this connection and this spring here puts the parts to the front again when the gun is reloaded what I do next is I uh, take out the part which holds the magazine therefore I use a Torx screwdriver and just screw the screw out the same screw is on the other side and when I've done this I push out this bolt here works very easy and I can take this part off Because I'm on the run, I will also take off the trigger action. Just push these two bolts out. And you can take out the trigger action. Take a look inside. I will show you the action. So here we go. 
now you see the turning and then it comes out spring puts it back in the front then it turns in and the slide is locked one more time not the whole way just to see how it is locked next part I take out is this little part here it is holded by the spring so I have to take out the spring with a screwdriver and then I can take out this bolt and I can remove this part to the front the next part I will take out is the connection just put it down here go a bit up and you will you can take it out same thing on the other side and you can take it out next thing I want to remove is this bolt here just punch it through with your, with your clock tool here we have this bolt next thing I remove is this screw here there's a screwdriver take it out remove this part here hold the small part put pressure on the big part and you can take it out there are two springs inside which hold the part on the other part the next thing I remove is this little spring here completely just let it go down and it will fall out and now you can push this guide rod I hope you see it, you can push it back and you can take out this part here on the front also the spring and the piston of the gas system and now you can also take out the guide rod just let it go forward and then you can take it out on the back you can also take off this part the next thing I want to remove is this little part here there is a small spring here and you have to put up the spring with your screwdriver and then move this part forward go in with the small screwdriver lift the spring and then pull this part forward and you are able to take it out here you see the spring I lift it with my screwdriver and then you can put this part forward and it will come out now we take out the slide or the lock and you see it is still in the right position what you need to know is pull the slide back and then don't try to get it out on the front just take the slide a bit on the back and turn it inside and you will get the slide out really easy the reason why this works is this little part here when the slide is locked or in the locked position then this little part can't go down when you pull this part forward this little part can go down and it would be like this inside and when this part is down there is a, a free space and so you can turn the slide out. just want to show you in detail how this part is removed you see here the spring and 
you slide this part in and it is fixed because of the spring and to take it out you use the screwdriver go under the spring part put this part up a bit and you can let this thing go forward to reassemble the parts put the slide back into the system turn it inside and you see it isn't the whole way inside so I turn it a bit and make sure that this part is the whole way out and turn the slide a bit and it will fall in the complete way next part we install is this little part here make sure that the slides don't fall out I do it with my left hand put the parts in the right position and now as I showed you first go in with this part and slide it back and it is installed now the slide can't go out again if this part is in make sure function is working everything okay the next part we reassemble is that rod we let it go in on the front make sure that these plates are in right position and then we go in at the back and our rod is installed then we take the piston put it in in the front <clears throat> now the spring then this part there's only one direction it will fit there's a bigger hole in on this side and you put the spring inside here So it is on <clears throat> and now we need the screw and we put the rod into position and you have make you have to make sure that the hole of the rod is in the right position where the screw should go in. Let it go a bit forward and now the screw is in the hole of the rod of the rod. Next thing I put in the bolt on the back again. Then I mount the spring. Just pull this part forward. Put the spring in position and make sure that the spring is installed that way under this little nose here. This part, very easy, just put it on this position. Next thing we install is the connection on both sides. Go in in this way and Make sure that the connection is on the slide. <clears throat> you put in the connection this way under this part and it has to go in on the slide and also on the front. It's not that tricky as it looks on the camera because it isn't easy with the camera between the parts and me. So now the slide moves with the connection. 
Then I install this part going this way and put in the bolt. To fix this part, use the screwdriver and put the spring on. It isn't in the whole way. No, it's has snapped in. Now this part is on the spring and it will hold complete. Now we put on the trigger. Just push the two bolts through. Part for the magazine. This direction. Fix it with this bolt. And now the two screws on both sides. When I field stripped the rifle, I thought it would be necessary to disassemble the bipod, but you see the screw doesn't go in the whole way, so it would be not necessary to disassemble the bipod if you just want to disassemble the rifle. So I will mount it with the bipod on. Slide it on like this. Then screw the screw in. The rifle is reassembled. Just a test of the function. This works and pull the trigger. Also works. The rifle has a manual trigger safety. You push the knob from left to the right, you're not able to pull the trigger. Push the knob from the right to the left and it will make click. So that was my video about the BA Browning BAR match. It is a very nice rifle, shoots very accurate on 300 meters. Didn't try it for longer distances, but I think it would also be no problem. As you saw in the field strip, it is no military rifle because it isn't easy to field strip the gun. But if you're at home and you have the time, there is no problem. I think the field strip of this gun is the big disadvantage for tactical missions. But overall it's a very nice accurate gun and I like it a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye bye.